hello wonderful people you are welcome back to our channel our first gist news today for you all is that jesus christ loves you so wonderful people without much ado let's quickly hop together into her second gist news court holders federal government to pay sunday Ubo 20 million naira as damages now an or your state high court has ordered the federal government to pay Nigeria uh, to pay Yoruba nation agitator Sunday day more popularly known as Sunday Bowo the sum of twenty billion naira. The sum is compensation for exemplary and aggravated damages against the activist during the invasion of his house by the Department of State Service DSS. Justice Ladiron Akintola of your State High Court declared that the raid conducted by the DSS in Bowo's residence was illeg illegal, describing it as arbitrary aggression and prejudice against the activists. Now, this is what Bowo lawyers said. In his response, one of his lawyers, that is Bowo lawyers, Pelumi Olagbin Bishi, said the adjudication process would build the confidence of Nigerians in the judiciary. He further said that this is succor and an assurance that Nigerians can return to court to seek justice. With this judgment, the system has built confidence. This is also a strong warning to DSS that they are not bigger than the law. It is a signal, see the lawyer talking below me, that it is not good to take laws into their hands and jeopardize the interests of citizens. Iboho will also be glad about this. It is a confidence building judgment for us. Sunday Iboho has been having a running battle with the Federal High Court over his agitation for the declaration of a Yoruba nation. So his home at Soka Ibadan or your so in case you don't know why Igboho dragged the DSS to court, it happened on the 1st of July 2021, about 1.30 a.m., whereby the home of Igboho at Soka, Soka Ibadanoyo State, Nigeria, was invaded by men from DSS, leading to the arrest of 12 of his aides with two casualties reported why Igboho managed to escape arrest. So following the raid, Igboho sued the federal government and demanded damages, asking the court to order the respondents to gently pay him the sum of 500 million naira as special damages for the damage done to his house and car. He also demanded about another 500 billion naira for the exceptionary and aggravated damages of bridging his fundamental right with demolitious invasion of his house. Boho also asked for an order directing the federal government and the other respondents to tender a public apology in two national delays. Boho filed the application. Mboho filed the application through his lawyer, Yomi Aliyo, to enforce his fundamental human rights. Also, onto sections 33 to section 46 of the 1999 Constitution as amended and relevant articles of the Africa Chartered on Human and People's Rights, the respondent listed on the application filed on July 22nd uh, before the Ibadan Division of the Oyo State High Court, where the Attorney General of the Federation, the State Security Service, and the Director DSS. Uboho also sought an order from the court directing the respondent to return all the items seized from his house. He listed the items to include 20 million naira cash, 1,000 euros, travel documents, including international passports belonging to him and his family members, gold jewelries and wristwatches, two mobile phones and other items yet unknown but which were allegedly carted away by the DHSS. Now, pursuant to the above mentioned reports, uh, Nigeria federal government has said it will appeal the judgments of an oil state high court that awarded the uh, 20 billion naira in damages against the Department of State Services 
in favor of Yoruba Nation Hajitito Sunday Adeyemo, Alia Sunday Igbo. The Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malaming San, made the disclosure in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria in Abuja on Friday. He said the effort to already be made to commence the process of appealing the judgments. Justice Ladirun Akin 